All right, we'll see how the audio does. So, uh, a cab on cops or bastards. Yeah, we're seeing lots of that. It gets you likes on Twitter. Okay, so be it. But I'm looking at this right now. Save a life, kill a cop. Now, feel how you will about this, but I'm here to say <clears throat> that when it comes to Trump's culture war of Biden wants to abolish the police. Sorry, I have a mask on here. Let's see if that helps anymore. Uh, that it makes it land. And that's unfortunate, because, like, you know, good luck winning the election when, like, you know, people are posting pictures of this shit everywhere. I mean, I probably shouldn't even be posting videos of it, but, like, what the fuck? This shit's ugly, and it's everywhere. And now, this is free speech. Okay, good, but, uh, I think it is, I, I wouldn't, I don't see it that way. I see it as just, like, you're fucking, you're making a mess of my home. There. But yeah, like if I was having a peaceful gathering and it was mostly peaceful, but even one motherfucker came in and started trashing my house, okay, cool. The majority of people were nice. I'd still be upset that one fucking person trashed my goddamn house. This is nothing, by the way. Like you should see, there's areas where it looks like a fucking bomb went off. And then you have, but it bothers me on the other side too. You act like. You have people acting like it's all this just chaos, which it's not, and that there's no peaceful things going on. But then you have people on the peaceful side acting like this shit doesn't exist. It's like, ooh, little graffiti, so what? Yeah, let me go fucking trash your house, like I said. You know? It's just lame. You know, being somebody who has more nuanced views and actually can, you know, break stuff down and see the areas where shitty messaging is just hurting us, it's a lonely place to be. It really is. People are too scared to say a lot of shit right now. You know what's funny? All these houses here, I'm in a formerly black neighborhood, they used to be owned by black families. And you'll see multiple signs in the yards, but those people bought their houses from a bank that displace black families. That's how fucking, and they think putting a sign in their yard or a bumper sticker on their car makes it all good. When like, no, fucking you bought that house from a bank and now there's a family who fucking, who knows where they even live now. But this is gentrification, it's very real. And uh, yeah, a fucking sign does not absolve you, anybody. Fucking wokester, congratulations. All right, I'm out. Take care. Good luck to all of us.